Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna react to Attack on Titan season four episode twenty one from you two thousand years ago. Okay, people, this last two episodes have been so crazy and just so revelatory. Is that a word? Like with a whole bunch of revelations. Like the attack Titan's power is to see into the future and Eren has glimpsed into the future and Grisha has seen Eren's future and he's like this is gonna be horrible and he's telling Zeke to stop Eren so I'm like what the heck is Eren trying to do that his father is like this is horrible stop him and stuff uh, so I'm like you know what I'm not gonna wait till next week to get into this episode so I'm gonna check it out right now and here we go Okay guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself, so you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. Uh, the show, the showing us the battle? Everything that happened? She was safe. She was not safe. <sighs> okay, we're back. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh. Oh, so it wasn't a future thing. It's not going to work. Is he gonna break off his arm? Oh. Wait, is this Emir's story? Oh yeah, they did say that she made a deal with the devil and that's how the Thanos were born or something or other like that, if I remember correctly.
she gonna step up the all pointing at her was she really the one uh somehow i doubt it Yggdrasil. It's the way she made the deal. And then she was born. Uh, that's not a nasty. Man, that reminds me so much of Historia. Like when she was sitting by herself, pregnant and on in the cabin. Probably didn't care about her death, huh? Apart from the fact that he's he's gonna be losing the power.
He's crushing everybody else. Feel that this show does not want me to go to sleep. <laughs> it does not want me to go to sleep, yo. What the heck? I knew it. I knew that's what he wanted to do. I am so shocked right now. I feel like I feel like I've been shocked. <laughs> I've been in shock <laughs> throughout this last <laughs> episodes, man. Like, what the heck? It was cool to see how Emil got started. How all this tan stuff got started, you know what? Let me go back to previous, not previously, but according to legend, the founder Emi obtained the power of the times when coming into contact with something for generations. Her blood and power were passed down by the audience. However, the identity of that something which began it all remains unknown. It may have been some type of pathogenic parasite. A god who pitied the founder email and gave her power or something else entirely. Hmm. Like to see how this Fritz dude just came in, massacred people, took Emil and her people as slaves, and then there was this pig that was let out or something or other, and everybody turned on her. Was, was she the one that did it? I don't know. I feel like since she was this um kind and assuming people because that's what free frida said she was that's what frida said she was those other people because they were feeling for their own lives they turned it on her i don't know it could be that she did it it could be that she did not and they just delivered her up to him and then they were just using her as some kind of game they were like you're free but it was she's not free they were gonna chase her down and kill her that's what they were doing and then she came to this tree she went to it i thought if i thought they said that she made a deal with the with the devil <laughs> at one point in the show and that's how she got her time the time powers and stuff but uh, in this particular case she fell into this water and then they said there was something in this water that basically turned her into a time and then Fritz, seeing how powerful she is, has been using her to build stuff, to do a whole bunch of things, crush his enemies and everything. And then she's like, I'll give you my seat. I don't know, that, 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 freezing. I'm like, yeah. It felt nasty to me. The way that was phrased, I will give you my seat. Like she wanted it or something. She doesn't. Ugh. So he... <laughs> She gave birth to three children, three girls, Rose, Maria, and uh, Sheena, right? Sheena's a girl, uh -huh, whatever. And then when they were having some kind of ceremony, was he being crowned? I don't know, something. There was some kind of gathering. And then one people there, one person there, just like shot this um, spear into him. But then Emir jumped in front and she died and then he's he made the kids eat her and then ugh. 
And then she was there building all these titans, these colossal titans, building them and building and building and building them. She was there for all those years, hoping that someone would come in and stop it, and that someone was Aaron. She was waiting for him. She, Aaron even said, like, did you, basically, that she, did she lead him there? Or something or other like that? And it felt like that's the reason why she's been obeying. The, the royals. Because she was a slave to the king, right? And it feels like she didn't have the um, the will to overcome her being a slave, you know? And she kept that. That's why she's be kept obeying these people. But she kept hoping in the back of her mind that someone would come in and just stop all of this. And... When Aaron came there and just just hugged him and hugged her, I don't know. I was about to cry, and then Aaron just looked like his head got connected to his body with the spine of the thing that turned Emil into a tan or something or other, and then he turned into this giant tan, and then everybody, not everybody, all the colossal tan were getting released from the walls, all of them. We're getting released and I mean it was like he did it he did it we won he's doing the rumbling and stuff and I'm like oh, in the back of my mind I'm thinking should you be happy with what's happening you know what do I keep doing this should you be happy with that and then he noticed why did he destroy all the walls you know only one should have been enough to destroy the coalition that was happening in Mali or something or other. And then Aaron just like, Subjects of Ymir. Listen up. Uh, we have been whatever, whatever, whatever. The Marlins, all those people have been trying to destroy the people on the paradise. All the Eldians, the paradise, but not just the paradise, but everybody else. They will not stop until all of us are destroyed. So I'm going to destroy everybody else. I'm like, Ugh. Aaron is gonna destroy everybody else. I knew that's where this was going. Like I knew it. Like from the moment that they showed that flashback of him being at the ocean and be like, okay, once we destroy everybody else there, will we be free or something or other like that? And then I'm like, he said that the euthanization plan was dumb. He's not going to do it. Told that to Z. And then I'm like, okay, if that's not your plan, then what is it going to be? Then I started, I was reminded of the, of the ocean scene. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Especially after the father is like, I saw Aaron's future. It's horrible. You got to stop him and stuff like that. So I'm like, clearly he's going to destroy everybody else. And that's exactly what he did. He's commanding all these titans to go destroy everybody else. How are they going to stop him? But... So apparently, like I thought last episode, it wasn't that Aaron manipulated um, Zeke into bringing him there to the founder or something or other. It wasn't that. He was, he saw the future. He knew what was going to happen, but he didn't actually know how that was going to happen. And it wasn't until Zeke brought him there that he was able to affect his father and made him, you know, eat the tan founding then and everything that happened you know you know he made it start he made grisha start everything so that's why he thanked zeke for bringing him there 
and Zeke, he had the chains on. Zeke sent the founder to basically made everybody sterile or whatever. And this boy was not gonna let that happen, man. Aaron was not gonna let that happen. He, ugh, his hands just went after her. <sighs> Yo, like I said, Attack on Time does not want me to go to sleep. So I'm gonna go into the next episode because I have to know what the heck is gonna happen. <sighs> Okay, I need to make this episode the last one for today because I have other stuff to react to and it's already like 11 47 p.m. <laughs> this show's not gonna let me go to sleep, so yeah, I'm gonna go react to the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.